All right, pre-algebra. Here I am from my basement. We're not. This is not live, so um, this is take one. So we'll see if it works. I'll let you know if it's take two if I got to do it again. But we are um, continuing with solving systems of equations. So if you remember so far, we've solved systems by graphing, by the elimination method, and by the substitution method. Now we're talking about systems of equations word problems. So you should have the three examples. You should, you should have that. Um, it was on Google Classroom. And you can see the first example is the cost of five squash and two zucchini is $1.32. Three squash and one zucchini cost 75 cents. Find the cost of each vegetable. So in some way, we got to find how much one squash costs and how much one zucchini costs. And we could guess and check. I could be like, well, what if a squash costs 12 cents and what if a zucchini costs 19? And I could try and figure out if that's right. That could take us hours guessing and checking. What we can do is we can set up a system of equations and solve it. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I got to do is define my variables. There's two things I don't know. Typically, the question is going to be asking what you don't know. I don't know the cost of each vegetable. So um, you could use any letter. In this case, using S for squash and Z for zucchini might get confusing between twos and fives. I'm just going to use X and Y. So we're going to let X equal... The first thing we're talking about is the cost of squash. So um, I'm going to say X is the cost of squash. And then Y will be the cost of um, zucchini. So notice I wrote this let. That's just kind of the how you do things when you're deciding what a variable is you say I'm letting X equal this and Y equal this it's just kind of how you do it I wouldn't worry too much about it so now what we got we got our variables X and Y now we need to come up with equations so we got to look at the information we were given this first sentence we were told the cost of five squash and two zucchini is a dollar thirty two so I know five times X which would be five times the cost of a squash if what so five times whatever a squash costs will be all the money we're spending on squash, plus two times the cost of the zucchini. So y is the zucchini. That's got to equal a dollar thirty-two. So I've successfully written one equation. But we know we need a system. We need two equations. So my second equation. I'm going to look at the second sentence. Three squash and one zucchini cost seventy-five cents. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Three x plus I could put one Y or I could just put Y, it doesn't matter, I'm just going to put Y, equals uh, 75 cents. Now if you look at this, this doesn't look diff any different than what we were doing when we were doing the elimination method. We got our X's and our Y's lined up, so we can do the elimination method. So I'm going to look at this, I don't have any, my, my coefficients, the numbers in front of the X's, the numbers in front of the Y's, they're not the same. So I'm going to have to multiply one of them. I look at the second one, I know if I multiply it by 2, I'm going to end up with a 2y, which is what I want. So the first equation will stay the same. 5x plus 2y equals $1.32. Our second equation, we're just going to multiply each term by 2. So it'll be 6x plus 2y equals 75 cents times 2. Again, you've got a calculator. You can do that math, but it's $1.50. So now, that's a 2. That's a 2y, whatever. You know what it is. So now I'm going to look at this. Do I add or do I subtract? These are both positive 2y's to cancel them out. 2y minus 2y is 0, so I am subtracting. So I got 5x minus 6x, that's negative 1x. 2y minus 2y cancels out, that was the whole point we eliminated. Then I'm going to do $1.32 minus $1.50. Again, you got a calculator, that's going to be negative 18 cents. So now I just solved this one step equation. I'm just going to divide by negative 1. I do that, I get x equals. 18 cents. I'm now halfway to my answer. And if you remember, once we figure out what one of the variables is, in this case we figured out x equals 18 cents, all we got to do is we take it and plug it back into one of our two equations. It doesn't matter which one. Let's just pick the first one. So the first equation was 5x um, plus 2y equals $1.32. I'm standing in front of the board, sorry. I'm still, the whole video thing's weird. Um, so 5x plus 2y equals $1.32. I know x equals 18, so I put it in place of the x. So where the x was, I got the point 18. So that's still plus 2y, still equals $1.32. So now all I got to do is um, solve this equation for y. First thing I do is a 5 times point 18. 
that's 0.9 or 0.90 because I know it's money. You might want to, it doesn't make a difference. And then that's plus 2y equals $1.32. So now it's two-step equation, subtract 0.9 from both sides. I do that, I got 2y equals um, 42 cents. Divide by 2, and I got y equals 0.21. So the question was the cost of each vegetable. We figured out a squash costs 18 cents. So squash costs 18 cents. Don't forget the dollar sign, it's money. You gotta label money with a dollar sign. And zucchini, Z-U-C-C-H-I-N-I, -C -C costs, I guess my board is moving. I took the board from the classroom and I put it on the wall in my basement, so it's not perfect, but it works. All right, so that is example one. Come back for examples two and examples three.